Hello everyone. So in this sequence we are given three terms and they tell us that these are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence determine the value of x. So the way you approach a question like this is the following. We know that in an arithmetic sequence the difference between the numbers stays the same. So we could say that 5 minus 3 will always be the same as 7 minus 5. And if we had to carry on, then that would be 9, and you could say that that must be the same as 9 minus 7. Because 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. So you could say something like t3 minus t2 is always the same as t2 minus t1. Or you could say t10 minus t9 is the same as t11 minus t10, or whatever you like. As long as you always say a term on the right minus a term to the left. So a term on the right minus a term to the left, a term on the right minus a term to the left. So it's always, so for example, we could say that x plus 9 minus the term on the left, which is 2x, will be the same as 3x minus the term on the left, which is x plus 9. But now because that x plus 9 is two terms, you would want to put it in a bracket like that. And then you can solve. You see, so what we're doing here is we're manipulating the fact that the differences in an arithmetic pattern have to stay the same. So we can form a relationship like that. So what we have is x plus 9 minus 2x equals to 3x minus x minus 9. And now it's just a matter of solving for x. So on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have that. Then I'm going to take all the x's to the right and then bring all the numbers over. And so what we find is that x is equal to 6. So if you then wanted to carry on with the sequence, if there were other questions, you could fill in the actual values. So 2 times 6 is 12, 6 plus 9 is 15, and 3 times 6 is 18. And so this is the original pattern. And then you could use that if there were other questions. Here's another one that we can practice. So we know that when it's arithmetic, we can take the second term minus the first term. And remember, when you're minusing something with two terms or two or more, two or more you want to use a bracket. Then you're going to make that equal to 2x plus 3, which is this term over here, minus the middle term, which is x. And you can put that in a bracket if you want, but there it's not going to make much of a difference. Now what we do is we just solve, so it becomes x minus x minus 2 equals to 2x plus 3 minus x. These x's cancel, and so minus 2 is equal to x plus 3, because this 2x minus that x is just x. And then we can leave x on the right-hand side and take that number over, and so x is minus 5. If you needed to know the original sequence, then you could fill x in. So the first term is minus 5 plus 2, which is minus 3. The second term is just x, so that's minus 5. And the third term is 2 times minus 5 plus 3, and that's going to give you minus 7.